Hello and welcome Final Battle League fans. I'm your host Joe Zamora here bringing you my draft analysis breakdown for the New England Chartriots of the 2022 FBL season. My first season with the FBL. Their first time battling with me. And whew, I was watching that draft recap earlier later earlier later today. Earlier today. And who man, I ranked 8th, which wasn't bad out of 14. But, man, they had very negative things to say about uh, my defensiveness of my team, which is fair. I didn't get to draft my Grimmsnarl like I wanted to. Uh, led me to draft um, more knockoff weak Pokemon and some uh, psychic types. I did repeat some types. So, you know, not everyone's cup of tea. But I decided to try to draft fast and hard. And uh, I hope we're able to pull off some wins with it. And prove to these guys that our team isn't all, uh, all bark and no bite. So let's go ahead and start off with our first pick of the draft. Again, I wanted to go fast and hard. Garchomp was our first pick. So obviously, uh, the fast attacking playstyle is my playstyle. I love playing to where, you know, if I can one hit Oko you, I'm just going to click the move and do it. Um, <clears throat> and also, speed of the Pokemon, base over 100 is always great, even if it's just by two points. Garchomp does have the uh, the move uh, Skull Shot. It can, um, it can um, hit pretty hard with it. It multi-hit too, so it can break sashes and stuff. And it also gets that plus speed ability as well. So Garchomp is going to be our mainstay. He'll probably come every week. No doubt about it, really. Great typing and ground and dragon with the main weakness being the ice. Well, that's okay because we prepared for that. Um, and this is where they were kind of saying um, we don't really have a specially defensive core uh, Pokemon. But <clears throat> when you have this next Pokemon, why you need special defense? We have Jirachi, the Psychic Steel-type Pokemon. Of course, it's a Mythical, so it has base 100 stats across the board. It's also part of that uh, fun, not fun for our opponents, but my kind of play style where you just hit fast and hard. And of course, Serene Grace Iron Head Blinches are also great. You can just slap a scarf on it, pretty much hit anything. Um, but you know, people seem, tend to be prepared for that. So, you got to go ahead and watch out for the burns, or even run a special one week, or max defensive, stealth rock, you know, something with Jirachi. I mean, it's going to cover our ice weakness pretty well, even if we run offensive. Uh, maybe we run it more defensively, since we know we need that extra bulk. Uh, time only to tell uh, against the teams uh, we face, and sorry if I misspelled the names, I was kind of in a rush trying to get all this started so I can get it going, because I'm sure that's not how you spell Jirachi. But, um, yeah, it can be very defensive if I want it to be, but hyper offense is what I'm drafting for, and that's what I'm going for. So let's, let's hit people in the mouth with that iron head. And that brought me to wanting to round out my core. Um, I did, like I said, wanted Grimmsnarl. Got, got picked. And I was like, okay, what's a very good fairy type uh, that uh, can take, uh, I just said its name, Grim, ugh, excuse me, Grimmsnarl's Place. So I was like, you know what, I've never used Tapu Lele in a draft format before. It normally gives me problems with Choice Specs ability or slapping a scarf on it and just smacking things with Moon Blasts and Psy Shocks and stuff like that. Or also just the Life Orb said if we can get webs up, uh, being able to just use its fantastic move pool to just slap anything we want, uh, even running Modest on Scarf, you know, crazy things like that Tapu Lele can do for you, and reliably too. So I was like, you know what, I've never drafted Tapu Lele. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and use that fairy type. Um, it's going to apply pressure. It rounds out my Fire Dragon Steel Core, applies a lot of offensive pressure. And like I said, has good coverage, so if uh, I want to, I can just mess anything up that comes in front of us. 
So I was like, all right, I got that chord done. What do I want to go for now? So that leads us to Volcarona. Yes, it has a four-time weakness to rock. But I mean, we have Garchomp, Jirachi. <clears throat> and I'm sure I was going to draft more uh, rock defensive Pokemon along the way. So I was like, you know what? I'm not too worried about it. Let's go Volcarona. Great 80 base speed. Um, you're obviously going to quiver dance with it at least once. At least once. And uh, with no Dynamax in this league, mm, you don't have to really worry about opposing weathers like uh, like uh, Sandstream or really uh, rain doesn't really get in your way with Volcarona because it does have great grass coverage. But mostly Sandstream to chip away at you and things like that. You ain't got to worry about unless, you know, obviously you're prepping for it and then you can answer that easily. But Volcarona, obviously... Click Quiver Dance, and then click a button. Heavy Duty Boots most weeks, most likely, just to cover for rocks. But we do have <clears throat> a few Defoggers on the team. Uh, as they did mention, are pretty frail. But, I mean, they can all at least take one hit, and then they're fast enough to fire back before getting knocked out. So, I'm not too worried about rocks. Like I said, Volcarona is pretty much the only uh, uh, rock weak Pokemon on our team, other than our next one. But Volcarona is a great Pokemon, and I've drafted it before, wanted to draft it again. So let's go ahead and move on to the next pick that we had. We have Thunderous Therian. We've never drafted this thing before. Uh, I kind of liked the idea of it. <clears throat> I, honestly, I was thinking a Tornadus when I drafted this. <laughs> so I was expecting a Generator. Not that Pokemon. But, of course, you're always excited about a great, fast electric Pokemon. Uh, it gets defogged. It's very speedy. Volt, volt switches uh, all day, as long as there's not a ground type on the other side. And if there's a ground type on the other side, grass coverage. One of the greatest things ever. Um, Thunderous is a great Pokemon with the great uh, special attack stat. And also, it can, I, I, don't, I think it could roost. I'm not entirely too sure on that. But I think it can because it does have the secondary typing. And, I mean, it's just a monster. Just look at that thing. Would you want to face that thing on the other side if you didn't have something reliable to counter it? And you can't just use an electro-type attack because Volt Absorb, baby. You're healing that thing for free. So, we'll go ahead and see if um, we use it for utility or just apply shitloads of pressure with it. Other teams are going to be scared of this team. I'm telling you. It's going to be a lot more threatening than rank 8. Alright. And next up we have the boy. Seismitoad. With the decent base speed. I think like 76, 80 something. But I've used Seismitoad. A lot. <laughs> I, I think I've overdrafted this thing. Um, I do love the move pool. Versatility. You can run it physical. You can run it uh, special. Um, and then, like I said, with no, uh, with no Dynamax, you don't really have to be surprised by, like, a Max Grass move or things like that. Uh, and with our Grass weakness being our only weakness, we have a whole team of Resist right in front of you besides Tapu Lele and Garchomp. So, I'm not too worried about the Grass weakness. Uh, Seismitoad is a reliable rocker. Uh, Swift Swimmer, if I need it to be, to face those, uh, Cheeky, cheeky water teams. Um, or I can even bluff, swift, swim, and, you know, go like a water absorb or something. And, you know, th just throw off people's plans completely. Um, it's all about the mind games and draft league. So that's what I'm going to play to because I always do. I switch up my, uh, my, uh, my sets each week, every week. And I never run the same thing twice almost unless it's really, really effective. But that is the Seismitoad. For you now let's go ahead and move on to our round seven pick and that is her bombi so i was looking at uh pokemon for sticky webs late and there was still vicka vault around and stuff and i was like okay so i have the option of sticky webs and then also the option to defog so i was like why not have the best of both worlds i think Vic actually i think vicka vault was just picked before this but i was like I actually like Rabon because you can get up webs, get rid of webs, do whatever the hell you want with it, and you can't get faked out. So you reliably get webs off all the time, things like that. 
So Rabambi is a great pick. <laughs> also another quiver dance threat. Uh, most people see it as a frail Pokemon to get up sticky webs. What if I didn't feel like running sticky webs that week and I just wanted to click quiver dance and knock the opponent out right then and there? Then it'd be over. And it also gets reliable recovery and giga draining, uh, draining kiss and things like that. So Rabambi may seem like a useless little bug, but it has the uh, has the uh, what's it called? I I'm losing my mind right now. I am very tired. It has the possibility of being very very good. Uh, give me one sec. Edit that out and post. Okay. Um. All right, for our next pick, we have Scrafty, and this is a very underrated Pokemon. I was surprised I got it so late, <laughs> round eight. It is a great Pokemon. It's very specially defensive naturally. Defensive, pretty defensive uh, normally. Uh, not many weaknesses. Uh, we have a fairy weakness to it, but I mean, again, we have so many Pokemon that can cover that fairy weakness. It's not even really a problem. Um, I feel like anything, we'd have more of a... Uh, flying type issue, uh, but then again, we have thunderous Jirachi. You know, things we can cover with it, so it's not that big a deal. Um, I do love the Scrafty pick. It is very bulky. It gets drain punch, so it's very reliable in its recovery, all kind of things like that. So Scrafty is going to be very good um, mid to late game if uh, you know just needed to take some hits, dish some back. Uh, Choice Bandit sometimes. Uh, even run a Dragon Dance set every now and then. Its speed is not that bad. So one Dragon Dance will boost it over the top to where you can just start smacking things with Drain Punch. Trust me, it's happened to me many of times. And it's, I've seen it happen to a lot of people. So, Scrafty, very good pick for round 8. Very good fire uh, fighting dark type. So, it's resistant to Psychic itself. And there's just so much this Pokemon can do, and I can't wait to show people what it can do. And this is also the first time I'm drafting it, so it's going to be exciting for me and Scrafty. And then next up, we have the boy himself, my first ever shiny, Weezing Cantonian. And the things I could tell you about this mon, you should already know, it's a physical wall. It's got levitate, so unless you got Mold Breaker, you ain't breaking this thing very easily. And even if you did have Mold Breaker, I could run a Neutralizing Gas. I do believe a Normal Weezing gets that. And then you don't have Mold Breaker anymore. You might be able to hit me with the Earthquake, but it ain't gonna hurt as bad. I could run Air Balloon, you know? <laughs> do whatever I want with it. Um, Weezing K is a great Pokemon. You can even run Shuckaberry, you know? Crazy things like that. Then it could get off a will o wisp It could defog. It could um, get off T-Spikes if it wants to. It could toxic your team. And ain't nothing you can do about it because Weezing's just a threat like that. So, Weezing, great Pokemon. Great physically, defensively. And it, I promise it's coming to a lot of games. <laughs> I'll I, I just give that away right now. All right. So, let's go ahead and move on to our second to final pick. I thought this was our final pick because I didn't calculate points right uh wheezing was a swap from uh the slow king no the slow bro galarian that i picked uh too many psychic types so i went ahead swapped it to wheezing k um thank you cc for pointing that out <laughs> so i did uh, i did want a poison type and then you know wheezing was perfect i mean it, it was doing basically what i wanted it to do a physically defensive poison type and then it doesn't hurt to get that uh boost of being resistant to ground and then the next up, we have Cray Dilly Dilly Dilly. Oh, one of my favorite Pokemon. It was actually on my first ever draft team. And it's a special wall. And it could just set up so easily with stockpiles. And you can get free health with Swallows. And you can even get Toxic, Leech Seed, everything, Protects. Anything you want to do with this thing to just be annoying, you can do it. And don't mention... If you get hit by a water type move with this thing, a special attack just goes up. And it already has a ridiculous special attack stat of like 109. So you just want to boost me so I can Giga Drain you back? Do it. I am waiting for you. I'm waiting for that hit. Um, it just, uh, it's a cheap 
special team. And that was the best part about it. Um, and it could apply a lot of passive damage, like I said, with the leech seed and the toxics and stuff like that. So it's going to apply pressure. It's very tanky, very defensive. And it's going to make people not want to try to attack this thing with the water type move. <clears throat> and then lastly, but not leastly, the unexpected pick of the draft. Actually, it wasn't Glaceon. It was Sudowoodo. But I quickly made the switch for that because I was just like, why did I pick another rock type? So I went Glaceon, just to patch a patch a, uh, a typing I did not have. It is very specially defensive as well. Not that Icing is the best defensive type, but it can tank certain hits. Um, and Glaceon is actually surprisingly speedy and has a great special attack stat, so it could fire hits back. So not much more on that. <clears throat> Uh, Glaceon was an accidental pickup, but, you know, not a bad pickup by any means. But all right, guys, let me know what you think. Do you think this is a number 8 out of 14? Do you think it's a number 14 out of 14? Do you think it should be ranked higher? You guys let me know. But this is the team we're going to be rolling with for the week one of the FBL. And if we get slaughtered, maybe we make changes because we are facing a uh, Spectrurier that they said would wreck my team. Uh, just off face value, so we'll figure that out, and um, we'll catch you guys in week one in about a week or so, so enjoy the team breakdown, let me know what you think down in the comments, and we'll see you guys next time.